Whenever I'm doing binomial problems in Excel, um, I prefer to set up the whole binomial distribution. So rather than um, typing in exactly what it is that I want um, using either the individual binomial probabilities or cumulative probabilities, I find it much harder to make mistakes if I set up the, the whole binomial distribution. Let me show you how to do that now. The binomial, no, binomial random variable has two parameters, n, um, 12 say, and p, can be any probability. <clears throat> we know that um, the outcomes of the binomial random variable with 12 trials, uh, we can get naught up to 12 successes. So list those there and then the probabilities the probability that the random variable capital X takes on the value small x these are given by the function binom for binomial and dist distribution needs four four arguments into this function the first is um, the outcome so x the second the number of trials now I'm going to copy this down and I don't want that cell to move so I put the dollars in similarly for the probability of success select that cell and then lock it in with the dollar symbol and finally true if I want the cumulative distribution um, and it explains what that is otherwise false for the probability mass function and that's exactly what we want we can either type false or put in zero there, but um, might as well type. Um, so that's the probability that the random variable equals zero. If I copy that down, and Excel works out all of those for me. Now notice the last ones are written in the scientific format, and that's kind of ugly. Um, and so it can be useful to go to the home menu and then decrease the decimal and let's do that four decimal places is um, probably about as many as we can cope with and um, we can see those ones um, are rounded off um, to zero at four decimal places and there we have the probability distribution um, if we fiddle with n we need to obviously change the number of um, rows in x here but we can um, play around with the probability of success um, and that will update the probabilities. We can see with p equals 0.5 um, that the distribution is symmetric. Um, so there we go. If we want probability that x is less than, th than 3, say, that would be the sum of those three probabilities. Um, so rather than doing a cum using the, the cumulative function, um, I'd rather just add up the, the terms that I need.